Hi Libra, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm here to do your love reading for January 8th through January 14th. I just did a general reading. You may want to watch that. It's pretty good. Um, this is for the sign of Libra. I have pre-shuffled, so I'm only going to shuffle for a moment. If this doesn't resonate, take what does and leave the rest. No more second chances. If you guys give it, it looks like, yeah, there's no more. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm moving on. I'm moving on. I'm moving on from this false foundation, this false commitment. I'm moving on. I'm freeing myself. I'm no longer going to be bound by these chains. Okay? I am moving on. I, I can't give you any more chances. It's like I have to honor myself. I have to do what's right for me. I'm going to have to have a new focus now. There's no more confusion left. Okay? There was no love. It's like there was no commitment here. There was no feeling of... Uh, love coming in somebody was not reciprocating and it left you alone you know and you may be starting to feel grateful for all that you are who that you are being on your own you may be feeling like you know what i i'm better off without this situation okay change is on the horizon you could be uh opening yourself up to love Okay, you may have a choice between two people, Libra. You could be have a choice between an Aries, uh, Leo, Sagittarius, and a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It feels like you guys have decided that it's time to get free. I am going to free myself from these chains that I have been bound to and be open to whatever happens. Right now, I'm going to be grateful for all that I am, and I'm going to let love come in, true love. Um... I feel like you guys are closing one door and a new door is opening. And I think a new door is opening even though you think that you're just, you probably come to the scent to, to the point where I'm, I just want to be alone, okay? I just want to be alone. And you know, when you get that mentality, that's when this somebody else comes in and you realize or when you decide, you know what, I just don't need this in my life anymore. I'd rather be alone. That's when, you know, the one comes in. That's usually usually the case. You may be deciding, you know what, I'm going to focus on my career. I'm going to focus on my home. I'm going to focus on my bank account right now. I don't need a partner. I don't need love. And you, you're like, you know, I don't even want love to hell with that shit I don't need it and then all of a sudden love comes in you know it's that kind of thing all right you've decided to complete a cycle with somebody who didn't serve you okay you decide there's no more second chances I'm not playing the game anymore I'm freeing myself from the lies the deceit the the bond that was false I'm freeing myself from it okay I'm no longer gonna be obsessed or addicted to this this thought of love which it was not because these are obsessions and addic addictions these two cards but it wasn't love and it's like you know I'm I'm done I'm gonna I'm for some of you some of you are still resisting okay some of you that are watching this are still resisting but some of you have already stepped over that hurdle okay because there's many people watching this some people that are watching this um are still waiting on communication from somebody. They're hoping for the second chance, okay? But some people have decided no more, no more. It's time for a change. It's time for a, me to make a decision. It, I've made the decision. I'd rather be alone, okay? Because there's, so, so there's, there's so many different people watching this. I feel like... Um, Somebody thought something was love and it wasn't and now they've decided, okay, all right, I'm done. I'm going to free myself now. Yeah, many of you have let go, probably have a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You may have let go of. <laughs> it was just a burden. It's like it was never going to happen. It was really heavy to carry around. And it's like you've been juggling. Perhaps this person had another person, you know, and they were juggling. Maybe they were juggling a water sign or a fire sign. And you've got to the point where, you know what, I'm not going to play this game anymore. I don't want to play. I don't want to be the second fiddle, you know, whatever that's called. I'm not going to do that. So I have to let you go. I can't. I can't. I'm not going to be bound by this if you are not going to respect me, 
you know, I'm it's I see that you guys are really focused on moving forward this week. You're deciding that it's time to be practical. It's time to bring stability back to your life. And the only way to do that is to release this huge burden that you have been carrying. Okay? And it's like before you were focused on the love, getting that love, getting that love. And now it's like I'm not going to focus on that anymore. I'm going to focus on me. I'm going to focus on my finances. I'm going to focus on my job. I'm going to focus on everything but love right now. And that's when I, what I think is going to happen is once you start to do that, that's when this new love is going to come in. Do I think new love is going to come in this week? For some it could, but I don't think so. I think that's further out. I think that this week is about you going through a period of, I just want to be alone. I don't want love. Okay? That's what this week is about. I don't want love. This, this false uh, bond, this lie that I was invested in it was too much for me. And I just want to be alone right now. That's what I see. Like I said, new love is going to come in, right? Because, because you don't want it. And that's the way the universe works. That is exactly how it goes, too. But I don't think it's coming. I mean, it may show its face this week, but I think it's in the works. And I think the new love is a Scorpio, uh, Pisces, Cancer, or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I think that you're letting go of an Earth sign, okay? Interesting. The first card is let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. If you're still having a hard time letting go, let your friends help you. Okay? New love is coming. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Maybe that's why you've decided to let go. Like I said, this, this can go so many different ways. But I think for many of you, um, releasing this person that you were connected to is allowing this new person to come in. And I feel like this new person comes in when you are like, I don't care about love. Okay, whether that's happened already or not. But it's like when you get to that point where I don't want love, that's when the new person comes in. And I think it's a water sign or a, or a fire sign. We're going to read that second, that last card. It is Magician and the Mirror. And this is a really good card for this situation as well. I have to read it because I can't remember all these yet. I'm going to keep using them until I do. Knowing and using your true power. This card upright represents the culmination of your personal and spiritual power at this time. In the magician's left hand, the flame of passion and action. In his right hand is a vortex of water and the light of reflection. The highest beneficial card, this highly beneficial card is telling you that you are the magician. You are. And within your grasp are the amazing forces of earth and spirit. The water is the energy of yin, the power of spirit and clarity of thought. The flame is the energy of yang, bringing direction and creativity. Together, they give you the magnificent magic of transformation. And that is exactly what you're going through, a transformation. <coughs> the mirror... <clears throat> I'm sorry. The mirror stands behind... <clears throat> I'm really having a hard time today. The mirror stands beside the magician, reflecting the outer world's response to your choice. <laughs> that's the truth. You choose that you don't want love, and that's when the universe takes over. That's amazing. The mirror stands beside the magician, reflecting the outer world's response to your choice to use or dismiss the true power that you have. Its silver reflection reveals the future in a mist on the horizon, ready to be magically formed. 
When you receive the magician upright, you are put on notice that an important and powerful time is at hand. You are the alchemist of your life. And just as an alchemist turns base metals into gold, you are now able to transform your difficulties into great blessings. Oh my God, this is exactly what's going on. This is true in every area of your life. Claim your power and embrace your intentions in your heart and in your daily life. Direct your destiny and the mists of the future will clear into brilliant reality. So yes, you have the power to manifest. And it is a period of manifesting. But I have to remind you all that the universe is not going to let you manifest what is not meant to be. Okay? Now is the time for you to change your path, to change your life. You have the power, you have the resources, you have the knowledge, you have the divine uh, uh, help, connection, okay? To find this new love, to let this person in. You are put on notice that an important and powerful time is at hand. It's a very important time to free yourself from something that was not true. When you free yourself, this new love is going to come in unexpectedly. You have the power to create a wonderful future with this person. Anyway, this is what I have. Talk to you later.